you a new mom struggling with neck and back pain from breastfeeding. In this video, I'm going to show you how to say goodbye to that discomfort and make the most of your breastfeeding journey with the laid back position. One, what is the laid back position for breastfeeding? The laid back position for breastfeeding is a comfortable, natural way to feed your baby with minimal strain on the neck and back. It involves reclining in an angled back chair with plenty of pillows to support your spine and places you and your baby in a relaxed, semi-upright position. You will have both hands free to support and cradle your baby as they feed, providing excellent tight contact for bonding. Your feet should be flat on the floor or even propped up on an ottoman if needed. This allows you to keep a good posture while minimizing any discomfort. 2. How can I use the laid-back position to reduce neck and back pain? The laid-back breastfeeding position is a great way to reduce neck and back pain while nursing. The key is to find a comfortable spot that supports your body, including your arms, shoulders, and back. To get started, you can try sitting in a rocking chair or recliner with plenty of cushions for support. Place pillows under your arms and behind your back as needed for extra comfort. If you're using a bed, it may help to place the headboard against the wall so that you can lean against it or put some pillows behind you to help keep your posture upright while feeding. Lastly, make sure that your baby is held securely on the breast and at an angle that allows her chin to rest on top of your breast. This will help to keep her head and neck supported, reducing strain on her back and neck muscles. With practice, you'll find a comfortable position that allows you to feed without pain or discomfort. 3. What other tips do you have for making breastfeeding more comfortable? When it comes to making breastfeeding more comfortable, there are a few key tips that can help. The first is to find a comfortable position for both you and your baby. Some mothers find that lying down on their side with their baby cradled in one arm works well, as it keeps the weight of the baby off of their neck and back. You can also try reclining in a chair or placing pillows behind you for extra support. Next, make sure that your baby is properly latched onto your breast by supporting the back of his or her head with your hand while they feed. This helps ensure that they are getting a good seal around your nipple so they can get all the milk they need without causing discomfort to you. Finally, remember to take breaks during feedings and switch breasts periodically. This helps ensure that your baby is getting a balanced diet of high milk and four milk and gives your neck and back a chance to rest before the next feeding session. 4. Is there any way to improve my posture while breastfeeding? Thus, by using an ergonomic nursing pillow, you can support both your neck and back while breastfeeding. This type of pillow helps to keep the baby close and supported, while also providing comfortable support for your own body. Many ergonomic nursing pillows also come with straps that allow you to adjust the height and angle of the pillow depending on what's most comfortable for you. Additionally, make sure to sit up straight in a chair or couch where your feet are flat on the floor when breastfeeding. This will help promote good posture and give you more control over how much strain is being placed on your neck and back. With these simple tips, hopefully, you can say goodbye to neck and back pain during breastfeeding. 5. How can I tell when my baby is properly latched in the laid-back position? When your baby is properly latched in the laid-back position, you should notice their chin is against your breast and their nose is clear of any fabric or obstruction. They should have a deep latch with a wide open mouth and their tongue should cover the lower gum. Your nipple should be centered in the middle of your baby's lips, but not too far back into his throat. If you need additional help latching your baby correctly, talk to your healthcare provider for more tips and tricks. 6. How often should I switch positions while breastfeeding? For best results, it is recommended to switch positions every 10 to 15 minutes in order to prevent neck and back pain from developing. Try alternating sides left for one feeding session and then right for the next. Using hands and pillows for support can help you find a comfortable position that works for both you and your baby. It might also help to sit on a chair with armrests 
or an adjustable rocking chair so that you can easily change positions when necessary. Some mothers even prefer to lie down while breastfeeding, which is a great option if it helps keep your neck and back relaxed. Either way, finding the perfect position will take some trial and error before you know what works best for both of you. 7. Are there any other benefits to using the laid-back position? Yes. Not only does this position help reduce neck and back pain, but it also encourages your baby to stay latched on longer. This can help prevent nipple pain and damage as well as make sure your baby is getting the right amount of milk. Layback breastfeeding can even improve digestion for your little one because they are in a more natural position that works with gravity rather than against it. We hope you found this video helpful in learning more about how to breastfeed comfortably and without pain. Remember, your posture is the key to a successful breastfeeding experience. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below so we can help answer them for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.